I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity for me to present our research in this conference. Today, I'm going to talk about our recent work in structure and functional understanding of EMD3A. The cellular process underlying human development is one of the big uh, fundamental questions in current biology. In the past two decades, it has become clear that epigenetic regulation plays an important role in this process. So what is epigenetics? It refers to the change in gene expression that are not accompanied by change in DNA sequence. Rather, it's often associated with covalent modification of chromatin. One such modification is DNA methylation. In mammals, DNA methylation mainly occurs at the C5 position of cytosine within the CPG dinucleotide context. The primary consequence of DNA methylation is to mediate gene repression. Establishment and maintenance of DNA methylation is achieved by two groups of enzymes, DMT3A and DMT3B, responsible for de novo DNA methylation. Where DMT1 mediates the maintenance of DNA methylation patterns during DNA replication. For DMT3A, it has been shown that it played a critical role in determining the fate of stem cells. Knockout of DMT3A in blood uh, stem cells has shown uh, to shift the balance between self-renewal and differentiation toward self-renewal. And uh, with this critical role, there is no surprise that mutation of DMT3A has been associated with a number of human diseases, including hematological cancers, such as acute myeloid leukemia and pattern brown ramen syndrome. In TP, TBRS syndrome, mutation of DMT3 has been mapped to these functional domains of DMT3, suggesting a link between DMT3 mediate demethylation and the disease progression. I would like to point out it's one such site mutation, the arginine 882. And this um, mutation is one of the hot spot mutations in ML as well as TBRS. The structure of dmt 3 methyltransferase domain complex with the C-terminal domain of dmt 3 l has been reported by Xiaodong Sheng's group in 2007. And this complex formed this tetrameric architecture. And formation of this complex uh, is mediated by homodimerization of dmt 3 a And then each dmt 3 monomer further associated with dmt 3 l monomer. And this will involve two uh, distinct uh, dimeric interface. The first interface is called RD interface. Essentially, it's mediated by the sort bridge between the arginine residues from one DMT3 monomer and a targeted residue from another DMT3 monomer. The second interface is called FF interface. It's mediated by uh, aromatic packing of the phenylalanine residues between DMT3 and DMT3L. And this structure, since it has two DMT3 monomers, it contains two active sites. The two active sites is separate by a distance about 40 astron, which is equivalent to a, a, a one helical turn of a B form DNA. Based on the observation, it has been proposed that dmt 3 dm 3 l complex is able to methylate two separate CBE sites located on the same DA duplex, separated by 10 base pair. Indeed, analysis of the demethylation in the human genome, a mouse genome, has shown that the target of dmt 3 3 l indeed favored a methylation pair density of 8 to 10 base pair. So this observation supports the notion that the active site spacing between the two DMT3 monomers uh, contribute to the DNA methylation patterns in cells. So in my group, we are interested in understanding the interaction between DMT3 and substrate in further details by studying the, uh, this interaction in the context of, of, uh, in the context of DMT3 DNA complex. However, this effort was challenged by the fact that the DMT3 interaction with DNA is rather not specific. So in order to get a stable DMT3 DNA complex, 
when you look at the reaction pathway of DNA, DNA isolation. In this reaction, it started with the formation of covalent bond between the active site cysteine of DNA transferase and the CC exposition of target cytosine. And this is followed by transfer of methyl group from cofactor uh, SAM to the C5 position. Subsequently, through beta elimination, this covalent bond between protein and uh, cytosine is disrupted, leading to formation of uh, 5 methyl cytosine. Previous study has shown that introduction of a cytosine analog, such as zebularin, would help trap the reaction into this intermediate state. So this uh, allow us to, uh, this provide a rational for us to design a DNA substrate that can keep uh, can trap this productive state of DMD three A. So initially, we designed this short DNA duplex ten base pair long containing a central zebularin site. The idea is to allow each DMT3 monomer to form a covalent complex with uh, this short DNA duplex. If the previous model stand, the previous so-called CBE spacing model stand, and then the two uh, covalent complex between the, uh, within the uh, DMT3, DMT3 uh, uh, tetramer will make the two end of the short DNA duplex meet with each other, forming a continuous uh, helix. And uh, based on this strategy, we saw the structure of the DMT3 DNA tetramer in complex with this short DNA duplex. And for each DMT3 monomer, we are able to identify a covalent bond formation at the active site between the active site cysteine and the zebulary, uh, suggesting that we indeed capture the productive state of dmt 3 a However, surprisingly, we we're able to sort of observe that the two ends of the short DNA duplex do not encounter with each other. Instead, they are separated by 15 astron, which is equivalent to four base pair DNA. To fill in this gap, we designed another DNA duplex containing two separate CBD sites. And this allowed us to solve the structure of a, a co methylation uh, complex of DMT3A. So in this complex, uh, this DMT3L tetramer bound to one single DNA duplex containing two separate CBD sites. And then in this structure, it clearly is that the two methylation sites of the, the substrate is separated by 14 base pair rather than 10 base pair as predicted. In fact, our later uh, biochemical analysis demonstrated that in solution, um, the co methylation spacing for DMD3 as well as DMD3B both are, is, dominant, uh, is dominantly uh, is 14 base pair rather than 10 base pair. However, the, the functional implication of this active site, uh, the CBD spacing, the 14 base pair spacing, remain unclear. Nevertheless, uh, from this structure, we are able to identify the, the three uh, DNA binding surface of the MD3A. One is the loop from the catalytic domain, which interact with the DNA minor group after the base uh, flipping of the tar uh, targeted debilarin. And this residue value 716 occupies the space uh, vacated by the uh, base uh, flipped debilary. Uh, the second one is a loop from the TRD subdomain. And this loop undergoes a disorder to order transition uh, uh, once it's interact with the uh, DNA substrate. And the third uh, interaction site is uh, this uh, DMD3 homodimeric interface, a so-called RD interface. It interact with the uh, DNA backbone. So uh, this is the highlight of the importance of uh, the DMT3 homodimerization is uh, methylation activity. Interestingly, this structure uh, also allows us to identify an intermolecular communication between the RD interface and the TRD loop. And we can see that the hydrogen bonding interactions between the residue RDNA 8082 from the RD interface and the serine 837 from the TRD loop help, may help stabilize the TRD loop 
interaction with the emitter group. And from this structure, we are able to identify some gene interaction sites that are often mutated in uh, blood cancers. And then we pick these uh, mutations and uh, through in vitro uh, enzymatic analysis, we show that uh, this mutation lead to uh, reduced enzymatic activity of the MG3A. Using the TF1 leukemia cell line, we also show that uh, um, transfection of these cells into uh, TF1 cells lead to CBD isolation, as well as uh, enhanced uh, cell proliferation rate. So therefore, this study established a direct link between DMT3 mediated DM isolation and the leukemia genesis. And based on this structure, uh, we also identified the mechanism of the CBD recognition. This arginine 836 form hydrogen bonding interaction with the CBD guanine. We mutated this arginine into an alanine. We showed that uh, uh, this mutant exhibit uh, enhanced methylation rate on the non CBD site. Consistently, transfection of this uh, mutant into uh, mouse embryonic stem cells uh, with DMT1, DMT3, and DMT3B knockout uh, uh, in, uh, showed that in comparison with the uh, wild type DMT3A, we favor the Shows predominant CBG methylation. This mutant shifts the methylation toward more toward the non CBG methylation. So these observations support the fact that uh, this arginine 836 residue played an important role in the CBG specificity of DMT3. I would like to point out that uh, later we found that the CBG recognition of DMT3 is critically influenced by the nucleotide next to the CBG site. The DNA, I uh, just uh, the DMT3 DNA uh, structure I just introduced contain the DNA with the CGT motif. Later, when we saw the structure of DMT3 with the CGA motif, we found that it recognized the CBG site using a different mechanism. So unlike the CGT complex that used the arginine 8036, to form a hydrogen bond with CBG guanine. And this CGA complex uses this arginine, eight, uh, uh, asparagine 838 to form a hydrogen bond with CBG guanine. Furthermore, in the CGT complex, this hydrogen bonding interaction between the uh, RD interface residue, arginine 882, and the serine residue, 836, uh, 837, in the TRD loop, has become disrupted in the CGA complex. So this observation suggests that the DMT3 may recognize CGT motif and the CGA motif differently, and which may result in their differential uh, methylation efficiency. And this uh, structure of the vision, in fact, echoed the previous report that uh, DMT3 prefers the pyramid in flank to CGB, CBG site. Now let's look at how um, the R882H mutation affect the function of DMT3. There is a number of models proposed for its functional consequence, including the um, disruption of the DMT3 tetramerization by this RH mutation, or uh, promoting uh, the microorganization of DMT3 by this mutation. And also, uh, this mutation may introduce aberrant protein interactions in cells. More recently, it has been shown that this mutation did lead to alter the flanking secret preference of DMT3, resulting in more uh, methylation as a non-target uh, CBG site. So unlike the wild-type DMT3 that favored stemming and cytosine as a plus one site, this mutant favored guanine and adenosine as a plus one site. So we saw uh, to understand its functional consequence, we first saw the crystal structure of this uh, arginine 882 h mutation with the uh, CGT gene complex. In, in comparison with the wild-type DMT3 DNA complex, we found that uh, the main structure difference lies in the RD interface. The DNA bound to the uh, RH mutant moved further away from the uh, protein surface, suggesting that uh, it, uh, the, this mutation leads to a reduced protein DNA contact. contact. Furthermore, we also observed that the CBG recognition is also compromised. So unlike the wild type, you have this hydrogen bonding interaction between arginine 836 and CBG-1A, 
and also the RDA882 form of hydrogen bonding with the, C the DRD loop to stabilize its CVD regulation. In this mutant, the interaction between this uh, um, RDNA882 with uh, the TRD loop is disrupted by this uh, mutation, and the TRD loop will become more uh, dynamically disordered, and this uh, which leads to disruption of the interaction between the RDNA836 and the CBD guanine. So this uh, observation indicated that uh, uh, this mutation leads to reduce the protein DNA contact as well as uh, CBD specificity specific recognition. On the other hand, we also observed that we saw the structure of the, this mutant with the CDA complex. So in comparison with the wild type uh, DMT3 CDA complex, uh, also uh, the, at the RD interface, uh, this mutant complex also showed reduced, uh, slightly reduced the protein DNA contact. However, it's a CPD recognition does not uh, get uh, uh, compromised, so it's almost the uh, same as a uh, wild type uh, CBD recognition. So this structure observation suggests that uh, this mutant may uh, not affect the CDA DNA substrate as much as it does to the CDT complex. So uh, to validate the structure observation, we have performed the GF shift as well as IPC analysis to uh, investigate the interaction between DMT3 wild type as well as RA mutant with DNA. And we our uh, analysis indicates that uh, in comparison with wild type, the mutation indeed leads to significantly reduce the DNA binding activity. And uh, through in vitro bisulfide sequence analysis, we show that it showed uh, uh, indeed reduced the CPD specificity of the MD3A. And furthermore, it shifted the, the motif uh, preference from the CGC and the CDT toward the CDA and the CDT. So with these observations, now we believe that the, uh, this R8A2H mutation leads to multiple functional consequences of this uh, DMT3A uh, function. So in wild type, DMT3 prefer, uh, uh, predominantly methylate CBD site with a lower level of uh, nice CBD methylation. During mitotic duration, the DMT1 mediated uh, maintenance demethylation will eliminate the nice CBD methylation but preserve the CBD methylation. For this mutant, it has reduced the CBG methylation activity, but shift the methylation more towards the non CBG methylation as well as non target CBG. So, after DMT1 mediated methylation, uh, it will lead to uh, um, CBG hypomethylation as well as uh, introducing uh, the aberrant methylation as a non target CBG site. So these are all contributed to the aberrant demethylation patterns in the, uh, these diseases. With that, I would like to acknowledge my collaborator, Greg Wang's group at UNC for their contribution in genomic methylation analysis of the MG3 wild type and the mutant. Um, and this uh, uh, Yunshan Wang's group at UCR also here for us to synthesize the tabulary containing DNA for structure analysis. In my, uh, in my group, my former postdoc, Jimin Zhang, uh, played an important role in structure uh, study of a uh, wild type DMT3 DNA complex. My student, a graduate student, he would uh, contribute to structure and um, functional analysis of uh, uh, this RH mutation. And these at the bottom are the funding agency for this study. Thank you for your attention.